In the grand cosmic ballet, a single fiery ballerina takes center stage, the sun. A massive sphere of blazing hot plasma, the sun is our solar system's star, a powerhouse that provides the energy that drives life on Earth. It's a colossal nuclear furnace where hydrogen fuses into helium at temperatures of millions of degrees. But how does this stellar heavyweight compare with the other celestial bodies that twirl in its orbit? Picture Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the Sun. This tiny world, with a diameter about two-fifths that of Earth, endures temperatures that can soar to 427 degrees Celsius during the day, only to plummet to minus 183 degrees at night. Mercury's proximity to the Sun means it receives up to seven times more sunlight than Earth. Next in line, Venus, a planet of extreme environments. Despite being slightly smaller than Earth, Venus experiences temperatures hotter than the surface of Mercury. How so? Its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect, demonstrating the power the sun's rays can have when they're not adequately regulated. Then comes Earth, our home, perfectly positioned in the sun's Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life as we know it. The sun's energy drives weather patterns, warms the planet, and through the process of photosynthesis, provides the energy that fuels life. Mars, the red planet, is next. Despite being half the size of Earth and further from the Sun, Mars still receives enough solar energy to have seasons, much like our home planet. This shows the far-reaching influence of our solar system's star, even as we move further away from it. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, receives only 4% of the sunlight that Earth does. Despite this, the Sun's gravity is strong enough to keep this gas giant over 11 times the diameter of Earth in a steady orbit. Saturn, with its spectacular rings, follows. Although it's over 9 times the diameter of Earth and receives only about 1% of its sunlight, the Sun's gravity still controls Saturn's path, highlighting the Sun's far-reaching gravitational pull. Uranus and Neptune, the outermost planets, receive even less sunlight, yet still remain in the Sun's gravitational grasp. Their icy temperatures and blue hues are a stark contrast to the Sun's fiery furnace, yet they're an integral part of the solar system the Sun governs. In this cosmic comparison, the Sun emerges as a colossal powerhouse a gravitational master that commands the dance of the planets. From scorching Mercury to icy Neptune, from the surface of Venus, hotter than a pizza oven, to the seasonal shifts on Mars, the Sun's influence is undeniable. It's a testament to the Sun's might and the diverse range of environments it creates across our solar system. From the blistering hot to the freezing cold, from gas giants to rocky worlds, the Sun's energy and gravity shape and influence every planet in its orbit. So, the next time you feel the Sun's rays on your skin, remember, you're experiencing just a tiny fraction of the power that keeps our solar system in motion. From the Sun to the farthest planet, it's a cosmic dance of epic proportions. And at the center of it all, the Sun, our solar system's fiery maestro, continues to lead the charge.